Et layin, yes, uh, meeting His Royal Highness uh, at, uh, one of, uh, where did I meet him? Uh, Shuttleworth College, uh, where he was uh, uh, at the game fair. At the game fair, and I was, uh, I had a stand at the game fair, and it was all these small bonsai edges with little uh, uh, with little styles and uh, he was with me and I was, was going to meet him for two minutes well uh, he was with me 23 minutes because he was so interested in these little miniature edge rows he knew about the edge rows but uh, edge laying he didn't know much well I suppose he did but uh, uh, he was so he enjoyed it so much that he went round each one and said, "What's that one?" Uh, and I said, "That's as there's so many different styles of edge laying." And he loved the tall ones. They're only they're only about six and a half inches high. And uh, every time he said, "What's that one there?" I said, "That's Midland style, sir." And he, and he said. And then, oh, I'd like to have a go at that. And then he walked round the stand, and then he saw another one, and he said it four times. I'd like to have a go at that. And uh, and I suddenly thought, is he trying to say something? And I said to him, sir, if you would like to learn or have a go at those styles, it'd be an honour to teach you. And that's how I got involved with His Royal Highness. Absolutely fantastic, John, I must say. So what was he like when you got involved with him? Did you have to go round to the palace and cut hedges? No, I no, I went to, I, well, no, what happened? That was 201. That was 201 when uh, I met him. And then uh, the following year, we had a, uh, a, a, the National, the National Edge Lane Society had their, uh, championship where there might be 120 cutters, top cutters from all over the country taking part and he was so it, and he, he wanted to know where it was and it was on the next farm to his his own and, he, and, and all he said to me is oh, well, I'll go over the fence, I'll come over and I'll, you know, I'll get there and uh, so what happened, I had a letter then, uh, and they wanted to know the date of that show, and uh, he turned up. He turned up at that show. I was cutting Midland style, and uh, what really happened, he, he spoke to all the people, all the, all the volunteers and all that down the office. I was uh, edge laying, and he came up to me, and he said to me, John... I'd love to do this. And I said, sir, you look around. There's a TV camera behind me. And there's about 50, uh, you know, people taking photographs. And uh, I said, uh, you can't. What we'd have to do is try and find a, an edge on your land. Mm. And uh, it could be your day. And uh, I said, then you could uh, cut if well, you want it. Well, John, John, uh, John, just talk to me a bit about what he was like, because I'm trying to get a picture of the man behind the crown. Really, he's co he's copped it a little. He's copped it a little bit uh, on social media from people saying that he's, uh, you know, it comes doesn't didn't come across well, showing his frustration as a leaky pen. But you know him relatively well, really. So we know. Have you always found him a man who's able to do things for himself, and he's a good, uh, you know, he doesn't treat people badly or anything? 100%, yes. Yes, he's a good edge layer and he don't just do it in the sunshine. He's, he's out there when it's pouring a rain. He listens. He wanted to do it right and uh, I would pick him up on certain things, you know, about tucking it in and doing this and doing that. Yes. No, he's marvellous. He's marvellous man.